joined by my fellow commentator Scott Drummond, myself, Lewis Hobber. The game is on. Kirk Docker, the right hand down. Just to playing Fordham. that down to the deli. In the deli. Fordham, conservative. Jackson Bad Boy, there he is. Centre court. Fordham. Oh, it's a bit of a duff shot. Kirk's back in it off the Sudoku. Oh. Oh! There's some great Sudoku action in this point already. Jackson goes wide. Kirk, short. Jackson back on it. Ben hasn't hit a shot for a while. Kirk's gone long. Tim's in the way. I hate to see that. You hate to see someone on the wrong side of the line. Wrong side of the line. The line's there for a reason. It is. Jackson. Jackson. Oh, it's high. Fordham. Plays back up to Jackson. Jackson, a gentle touch. Fordham. Thing and jewel emerge. Jackson back down on the right. Very, very thin slice. Jackson. Oh, he tried. He bounces off the gutter and away from the wall. It's probably it? one of the stronger deli actions that we've seen so far today. I think certainly it's great to see the game progressing, but when you see Fordham, Docker and, and Gallagher in a final, you know everything's oh. right with the world. It's a, it's a quality encounter. Oh, run they're away. all a big runaway. A big runaway. Jackson, There's Jackson. some dispute, but it looks it like it dispute. may fall Jackson. down on a duel. I think they're calling it a duel. They're calling that a duel. The crowd loves a duel. Doesn't yeah. the mob love a duel? Oh. Well, <laughs> mob rule. Yeah. That's what they say about war Kirk serves. Runs away. Fordham with the right. Sends it in the top. Very top wide. Jackson. Oh, oh he's gone too wide. Glory he's gone too wide. Corner. Too wide, unfortunately. <laughs> Sorry? Oh. Levon, filming with the new podcast. That is the best, best dressed cyclist we've seen all day. Let's give him a clap, everybody. Let's give him a clap. The clap is his gloved, shirted. It's a double hold. Is Got a double hold. Comes from the top end. Moody. Jackson bounces the wall. Gloved hand to non-gloved hand. Serves it out. Difficult one oh. off the gutter. It's an ace. It's an ace. Kirk takes the point. Jackson makes sure of it by playing it up top, but play has dwindled. Kirk up for the serve. Serves it to the middle. Fordham to the right. Back to Kirk. Back to Oh, Ben Fordham saving from potential trouble. Jackson winds up, plays it low. Fordham, strong left. Off his left. In the middle. No, there hasn't been too much movement. Oh! An uncharacteristic air swipe. Uncharacteristic. Kirk Docker takes the ball wide. Jackson's on the ball, but Kirk. Fordham takes the ball. Kirk tries to hit it. Tries to hit it early. That's one of his signature moves, but it hasn't worked that time. He's hit that wide. It's hard to pick a winner at this point. Three strong players, but a few uncharacteristic unforced errors. Ben waits for it to come off the back wall. Plays it down low. Kirk, great court coverage as always. Back to the centre. Fordham plays it top to Jackson. Down low to Kirk. A deli action emerging. Oh, big. Oh. Big. Two biggest swipe from Jackson in the top. Hits the back wall. Point goes to Jackson. Jackson goes wide. Down to the deli off the Sudoku. Fordham right there, right there with a big swipe from the downtown deli. He's not a guy you want to, you don't want to dabble with Fordham in the deli, that's what they say. I really thought Jackson's palm up might have uh, slowed the ball down, but taken just enough topspin to make it to the wall. What's your take on the glove, Lewis? Do you think it aids play or do you think it gets in the way? I feel like Jackson is both a vibe and a look player. And if he's vibing and he looks good, that's when he plays well. That's a that's good call, that's a good call. He's a confidence player, you're right. Look at him right now. I mean, he looks in full flow. He looks fantastic. He's been doing some fantastic fitness training. Oh, look at this. This is a rally. Is a this is, oh, oh my word. Oh, he's not getting that back. No way. There was some strong play there with Jackson ending up with a, a really strong right hand in the bottom corner. Kirk left a little bit high and dry. Tried to get his I mean, coverage down. But of anyone that's going to reach a shot like that, it's Kirk Docher. But even that shot was too wide. Too Game on. Jackson serves. Ben Fordham waits for it to come off the back wall, and they've oh. gone deep and low. And Kirk's in a lot of trouble here. He's in a world of trouble. And it's the Well Street fence into the gutter, and uh, that'll be sitting right in the plants there. The plants, of course, characteristic of, water, of center court. Yes. You'd hate to see them go. Well, the greenery sets it off somehow. Mm. It's a concrete environment, but with a little bit of nature that's right there. That's one of the juxtapositions that makes the ball so strong. Oh, that's a great shot from Kirk Docker. Oh, and they've gone wide again, but he's back in the downtown. Oh, that's oh, quite, no. what an angle. And again, what you an hate to see the crowd get in the way. I know. Uh, behind the line, definitely, but Scott Mitchell should know better. Scott Mitchell should know better than anyone. Oh, that's a hold call. Oh, Jan. the sponsor. Oh, Spalding. Spalding are our gracious sponsors. Also, Red Bull have come on board this year. We're joined in the commentary box by Jen from Next Door. Yeah, Jen from Next Door. She's, she's experienced a lot of WBI. She certainly has. Oh. She's been a patron of the game. I, I know. know. But you know, I haven't seen it branded like this before. Mm. And this is a step up. Oh, yeah. We're all about step up. 
Why do you have a crooked ball? That's a hold. That's a hold, Paul. It's a hold. That's a it's hold. hold. Time for Jen to go through. Good work. Purple hold, shoes as well. Look at those shoes. Such a fantastic patron of the game. Oh. All right. Surf. Jackson's been eliminated. It's unsurprising that we see these two here right now. Kirk goes wide off the Sudoku. Ben Fordham. An amazing backhand, but it just misses the tin. What has been branded the Icarus for those who try to fly too close to the sun? It's a risky shot, let's be honest. Ben Fordham plays Great it down. Great form. Kirk in the downtown, Ben in the uptown. How many times have you seen this, Scott? This is what we paid to see. Scott. Oh! oh. oh. Kirk Docker with a fantastic low drop into the Sudoku. That for those of you ball. watching at home, that's the shot. That's the one. Now. Wow, that's high. Oh my it's word. Job shots. It's all about the job shots. Well, they say that, don't they? But the Sudoku is your friend, sometimes it's your foe. Jeez, Kirk is picking them out of the air. Oh, that's gone wide. I think that's on the full. It's definitely back well on the full. The biz. Right, the biz. Looks to be struggling a little bit here. Kirk from uptown serves. Ben Excellent. plays it down low. Oops. Oh, he's got a lot oh, of. He's yeah. playing his own shirt. And as Nick Fordham calls from the gallery, tangles. Tangles. And Fordham with the serve. Says to Kirk down low, Kirk with the right hand. Ben, oh huge, one of his characteristic oh. backhands from the top. Fordham back and in control of that rally. Into the, into the Sudoku and that is classic Fordham. Hey Kirk, look up here. There you had a rally where for a second there Kirk looked like he was dominating and then Ben with a great, great shot took back control of the rally. Kirk found himself on the wrong end of the Biz's great play. Kane plays again and Ben unfortunately hits it too. Too hard on a soft call, hits the back. That's a couple of long shots from Ben. You don't expect that from him. I think maybe it's just big game nerves. Ben Fordham oh. plays it up top, makes Kirk run for it. He comes out as soon as oh. he's too many bounces. <laughs> That's tough when it comes out of there. He plays it wide, the fantastic white metal post that has been both friend and photo many of us at the game of the Ben Fordham with the serve. Oh. Ben, ben Fordham, Fordham will feel hard done by there. Wearing the Team Finn for the first time, for a friend of his called oh. Finn, suffering from cancer. <laughs> for real? Oh, a huge over the top oh, swipe. And Comes off, oh, bounces off Jack's leg into court of play, but Kirk can't make it work. Okay, ball up in the air now. Kirk goes high into the wide. He's missed that. <laughs> What's Scores, boys. 7-6 seven, six to Kirk Docker. We expected a toy. 7-6. Fantastic. Oh my word, Kirk's taken that from absolutely so far outside the court and he's kept it back in. Ben Fordham going wide again onto the Sudoku. Kirk with a fantastic shot straight off the Sudoku and he's back in control of the rally but he goes for the half volley. It's a risky shot. He's a half volley to fits is oh. something you don't see in this level of the game. He paid the price. Right, centre court. Ben Fordham in control of this rally already. Oh, oh, oh they no. caught. I think they've called Ninto on that. I think they've called Ninto. Ninto. Steve Crombie was in trouble there. I think Ben has seen a weakness. Well, here we go. This is one of the things we love to see about the game of Warball. One of the newcomers, Stuart Chater, brings a crate of Melbourne bitters into the game. This guy. This is it's. it's My a word, what a shot! That's why they call it a game by the people for the people. It's for the people. It's so great to see so many people lounging around in the stands. People up in the gallery, Big T of course, who we've seen many, many weeks over. But the game continues. Kirk plays it high to Ben Fordham. Oh, oh that is impossible! An impossible yeah. brilliant shot from Ben Fordham. Ricochets off the far right pillar and into the impossible play territory. Do you think he played for that? You can't play for you that kind of a shot. You can't play for that. You can get close, but... Jeez, he's doing it again oh, and again he's... and again. Ben Fordham is starting to find these angles. I mean, if you had have asked me at the start seven. of the day who I expected to see in this match, yeah. this is exactly who I'd have said. That's it. Kirk paying very little attention. Oh. Fordham does a serve. Still a bit of niggle. Still a bit of niggle. Even oh. he, he throws his arms wide as if to say, did anyone else see that? And they did, frankly. We yeah. saw it. The whole gallery saw that. Oh, he saves him. Oh, my word. Fordham saves Kirk from a definite back wall. And in doing so, his overhead right swipe has put him far left of the wall. Docker back in the game. It's tight, but you'd expect it to be tighter. Oh, the classic. Oh, my word. Oh, no. 
Ooh. It's on the full. Just a Cold! That is a ding for the bicycle. Look at that. Great play as well. Look at this. Clap them through. Great play, guys. Great play. It's been dubbed the caravan of courage by the crowd. At the game Fordham. Fordham in charge of this rally already. Docker. Oh, Ben's gone wide and he's gone hard and he's missed. It's a shot that's been serving him well in the last few minutes, but if you play wide, sometimes you get burned. 10 apiece. 10 10. This is what the crowd have paid for, frankly. There's a gold coin donation, it's going to charity. Oh my word. There's some evil Sudoku action. Oh, and Kirk Docker's on the bad end of it. 11. 11 10. Oh, Fordham keeps him in. Docker. Oh! And that's wood. The dull thud of wood that we know means a point to Kirk Docker. Kirk with the serve at 11 all. Goes high. Fordham takes it wide. Kirk Docker goes low. Oh, and he's played that wide. He had the point. In review, he's going to kick himself. He'll kick himself after that one. 12 11 to Kirk. Match point. Hold. They're hold. Singleted couple stalks through the court. As they walk through the court, you can really get a sense of the atmosphere here on centre court. You hate to use the cliche electric, but if, it was, if there was ever a situation, now would be it. Ben Fordham plays wide for his life. Plays down low, Kirk. A general tap and Sudoku does not serve him well. Through the legs, a top call. Oh. And that is a huge point from Ben Fordham right when he needed it. Through the legs, That's up the top, to the back left wall, it is 11 all. That's a risky play. At 11-10, a risky play through the legs. Was that the left hand? That's exactly why you come to see the biz. Yep. The man plays big points when it mounts. 11-11. Don't play wide. Fordham, back up to the top. Left hand. We're seeing a Ben's real going point. even wider now. Kirk off the left hand. Ben. Oh, oh that's a fantastic shot that into the could, crowd. That's a winner. Steve Crombie covers that could be his a... head. There's a lot of tension <laughs> in Fordham <laughs> playing into it. Why are you smiling from the sidelines agreeing? It's not hugely invested. Ben Fordham, he's pointing at the camera with a lot of anger, viciousness. He throws to, he throws to Ben Fordham, a hold for. But he's his friend, can we wait? Oh no, that's too many, that's too many hits. That's hit his leg. That's hit his leg. That's hit his leg. That's hit his leg. Game. Game, game point. The game is called an epic encounter. Called ben Fordham. As we wait as a cup. I just want to say, I'm dedicating this victory to Kirk. <laughs> it's been dedicated to Kirk, mate, because I, even though I've beaten you, you are still the best and I'm willing to say. Yeah, that's it. And look at Docker, he's smiling but we know he's going to be smarting. Let's get a quick post-match interview with the big guy. Very tough match. Mate, it was a tough match, but it was you know it was one that meant a lot to me and I've, I've been off my game as you know, as everyone knows, it's no secret for a month or two now. And uh, thanks to some good mates and good people around, it's obviously my day. Of course. Now, you've had a bit of an injury over the last few months. Did that play up again today? Yeah, mate, I don't want to focus on that today. Today's about celebrating and just about focusing on the good stuff. So I respect you've got a job to do and you do it really well, but I won't be engaging in that stuff today. I completely respect that and as a friend of the game, I just want to say it was a pleasure to watch you play as it always is. I'm going to hit the showers. Thanks, mate. Well done. Congratulations to the Victor Ben Fordham. And Scott Drummond, as we look back at this game, would we say that this is amongst the most classic season openers that we've ever seen in the great game of Warball. I think we all knew that the two finishing players would be those two, Ben the Biz Fordham and Kirk. Frankly, it could have gone either way. No the fact that it went to Ben Fordham, it's going to be a niggle for Kirk for the rest of the season, for sure. First game of the season, it's going to be something that stays with him. It can only make the rest of the season even more tantalising. There's, there's one thing we know about Kirk Docker, it's that he loves to oh. come back from a loss the next week and really play out of his skin. I don't know if you heard, but straight after he lost that point, there was a call for doubles straight from him. The guy is an absolute natural competitor. He won't say no. Game on, that's what I say. He's a workhorse, Scott Drummond. It's been an absolute pleasure. A pleasure too. Over to you in the studio.